episode two. It's, it's one trillion degrees today. Uh, not one billion or bazillion, like I said in the last video. One trillion degrees. I'm sweating like I just ran a marathon because we just did a decon. So we're going to do the engine bay now. I needed to let the thing cool off. I can't believe how hot that engine bay got driving from 100 yards over there to here. So it's still a little warm, so unadvisable. I hope I don't mess something up. Uh, we should be OK. Um, but the, the M5 has been decontaminated, and now we're going to clean up the engine bay and also the trunk jams. Uh, and then I'm going to dry the car, and we'll call that episode two. Uh, and then after the car sits and cools off, uh, I will drive it over to, to HQ and, uh, and, and let it sit to dry overnight. Uh, and then we'll start uh, episode three, probably Thursday. Today's Tuesday. So here's what we're going to do. This is coming to the store real quickly. Um, I use a couple of wheel cleaning brushes. I don't, I don't clean engine bays enough to find the need for all these crazy brushes. I don't like to have clutter. Uh, even though I have all these cabinets, I don't like to have, I like to have extra space. I don't want to have junk in it. So I got a couple of easy detail brushes and we'll reject, uh, apparently I get all the hand-me-downs now, but I'll reject uh, race glaze brush that I use for my wheels and lugs. So I've got to Meguiar's D101. Uh, this should be showing up at our doorstep any minute now. Uh, I'm gonna be selling it in gallons and, um, and 32 ounces uh, undiluted. I diluted four to one. So this is a roughly 25 ounce bottle, 750 milliliters, so roughly 25 and change. So I did five ounces of this and uh, 20 ounces of water. And so we've got a four to one dilution, dilution ratio, not dilution factor, like I was using before incorrectly. And then same four to one dilution, McGuire's D170 hyper dressing. This is called D101, which is all purpose cleaner. D170 is the, uh, is the dressing, which we're gonna go through in the engine bay. I'm speaking really quickly because it's really hot and the fans are off. So let's go outside and start working on the engine bay. So step one, don't freak out. I'm gonna spray this engine bay with water. I mean, think about this logically. I mean, think about Land Rovers that are like driving in water with a snorkel up over the hood. Uh, we'll be just fine. Everything in here is sealed nice and tightly. So I wanna get it cleaned out and prep for my dressing. Now, I don't wanna kill it, but I mean, it doesn't hurt to get this wet. Most times I prefer to do this before I do the decon, but because the engine bay was warm, you don't want to do this warm, I'm telling you. Don't do this hot. Because then your all-purpose cleaner is going to get all jacked up. Leave water spots, chemical spots. So you can see, I mean, a thousand PSI is all you really need. This is plenty of horsepower to get this done. So I don't like to do engine bays when my paint is corrected and protected. I like to do it during the decon process so that I'm not messing anything up. Looks like that almost will do the trick. So let's hit this with some D, uh, D101. Really don't need to do much here. Some products are so slick that I think what they do is they shoot outside the threading of the, uh, of the spray bottles. Gosh, we've got so much work to do to get this right. And then it might all come crashing down at the end when I say, screw it. These are never going to be good enough for me. Thanks so long. It's about to take off on me. So I'm just spraying some all-purpose cleaner. Again, this isn't super uh, super dirty, so I just want to get it cleaned up. 
still this this car really hadn't been driven enough. Oh yeah, this is bad. This is real bad. Cut that part out, Bryce. If I cut it out, I mean leave it in. <coughs> yeah, four to one is pretty strong. And this isn't a particularly strong all-purpose cleaner. Okay, I want to get these little areas here. Got a little bucket of water. get crazy on engine bays. I just want to kind of clean up the, the really yucky spots and so that looks decent. There's no battery in here so we definitely don't need to worry about that. This looks pretty decent. Just a real quick clean up here. Nice and satin looking, not shiny, no shininess. So you can see I'm kind of getting this crap all over the place, so that's why I generally prefer to do this first. But because the engine bay was hot, I didn't want to end up with the APC drying and creating problems. That's it. Now I want to wait to drive it, I want to heat this up. That's the process. Engine bay, done. I'll rinse this off here, get the excess. I'm not doing this kind of stuff. I don't I don't like dirt. So I don't want to wash dirty cars all the time, cars with scum all over the place. So if you want to see that, maybe you should make that channel because that's not gonna be what I'm doing. Because that would suck. Okay, done. It'll continue to get cleaner and cleaner as I every time I treat this 
I'll also coat the door jams and jams as well. So I'll be wiping this down with the eraser. Most most people don't clean out their jams when they wash cars. I know most of us do, but most normal people don't. I'm watching what old teacher out in the front. On the front lawn on cinder blocks. Okay. And then that little bit of floor is going to clean up nicely. Alright, so let's dry the car. Oops, I always forget this thing. Let's dry this thing off and we're done. So, this is important in that we don't want anything on here. Right? We don't want these coming on. We don't want to use a drying aid. We just want to dry the thing. This is why I use the big, my big drying towel just to get the bulk off. We'll finish with our with our orange twist loop towel. And that's gonna be it. This is DI water anyway. But I want to get it somewhat dry. And we'll drive it over to HQ, but I'm gonna to have to wait for the engine bay to I might grab it over tomorrow. I might just leave it out here tonight and take it over there tomorrow. That way I'm not tempted to get ahead of myself. So if we put a sealant or a wax or some sort of detail spray during this part, we'll end up adding some sort of protection that we just worked so hard to try to remove as much as possible. And we don't want anything affecting our polishing. And normally I would blow the car off. In fact, maybe I should do that. Get all the jams, but I'm gonna let this sit. And blowing the car off when it's like this is kind of pointless because the water doesn't go anywhere. The only thing you get is you do get a little bit of a excess from the door jams and things like that coming out. But I am going to dry the jams as well. Mainly, not so much for the drying part of it, but for the uh, cleaning part of it. A little extra clean before we get to polishing. So I do the bulk drying with the big towel. It's amazing how much better this car already looks just after the decon. Paint looks so much deeper, shinier, even though it's about to change drastically more when we get to the polishing stages and the protection stages. But man, it looks good. But I was hoping, I bought this thing sight unseen. I'm probably just gonna buy new. I don't know if that's possible, but if I can, I just might just buy new ones of these. Yeah, it'll get a little dusty and stuff sitting out here overnight, but I'm okay with that. Because I want the uh, hyper dressing and the engine bay to dry off before I start heading down that path and driving it over there. So again, I normally wouldn't do jams and then touch the paint, but we're going to be correcting it anyway. I should probably ditch this towel. Not throw it away, just wash it. Be done with it. So hard to dry because the darn towel is grabbing. There's nothing, nothing on here. We're almost done, Bryce. We're almost there. Almost there. It's the last step. Just finish the job. I always tell everybody I'm a finisher. I execute, but I'm not ready to throw in the towel here. Thousand degrees. 
The interior hasn't been touched yet either. This is going to be a big time project. Big time in meaning how much labor I'm going to have to do. Something tells me I'm going to call in the uh, cavalry when I get about halfway through it. So, don't do this where you're using the same towel. Or I'm using this towel here to wipe the paint after I just clean the jams. Don't do that. Unless you're doing decon, like I am now. I wonder if my M3 car cover will cover up some of this thing. Just go grab our uh, bed sheets. The little things that will make a big difference would be like coating this area to keep it looking nice. You can see we're doing that kind of cleaning that needs to be done. But not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Much cleaner condition than I was assuming. So that's the process of prepping this sucker, this monster car, for polishing and paint correction. And then while we're going through this process, this is where we're doing little details like this. Just a little extra cleanup of areas like the jams. I find that these will get cleaner and cleaner as time goes on. I mean, I guess I could just dedicate to cleaning these jams now, but I am getting them probably 80% of where they'll end up end up longer term just by doing a simple cleaning process like what I'm doing now. So I don't find the need to do anything more aggressive with these areas, just kind of every time I wipe in here I'll probably hit a little extra of that area. We'll get two new towels finish drying off and we'll call it all it done. So I guess that'll wrap up episode two here of the engine bay. I told you this one would be a short one. Engine bay, door jams drying. The car will sit and dry. So I always like to decon, deal with all the wet stuff, and let the car dry for like a day or longer, you know, or at least overnight. Uh, that way when I'm polishing, I won't have water running out of the cracks and areas. I mean, you can always, even blowing it off with a compressor, an air compressor, still, you're going to end up with little water droplets everywhere if you try to polish right now. Your tape doesn't stick. And so, just out of convenience, I like to do it that way. So anyway, thanks for watching this one. Episode 3, we'll be taping, prepping, we'll be pulling off some of the trim pieces, debadging the car, things like that. So that'll be uh, episode 3, so that'll probably be another shorter one, and then we'll get into the real nitty-gritty of uh, polishing and figure out what what we need to do to get this thing up to uh, OG spec or up to my standard so anyway thanks for watching as always stay tuned for more crazy episode 3 coming thanks for watching